Hey everyone, this is Satyam and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the details of BSc in Biotechnology. That is the subjects that you have to study in all the six semesters of the three year course. So <clears throat> to let you all know that I have taken out my mark sheet and from my mark sheet I'll tell you the subjects. But before getting into the video, I would like to tell you that these subjects are according to the time when I studied and according to my college. And it can vary from college to college as well as there can be few changes here and there as like some time has already passed since I uh, passed BSc in Biotechnology. So let's get quickly started with the video. In first semester, you will get to study Mathematics, Inorganic Chemistry, Organic Chemistry, Physical Chemistry, Biology and Physics. Most of the things will be of 12 standard level, so you don't have to worry. And um, many of you had this question in the comment section, like what will be taught in mathematics? So mostly calculus will be the part of mathematics. And in case of physics, you will get to study more and more chapters on lights. Yeah. So moving on to the second semester. In second semester, um, you will get to study biophysics, physical chemistry, organic chemistry, biochemistry, biostatistics and cell biology so from this semester onwards you will have to work really hard because the actual subjects of biotechnology will start and uh, all these subjects will also have practicals uh, alongside and here there is a subject known as biostatistics so it will also have some mathematics but it will be very interesting yeah moving on to the third semester from third semester onwards, the subjects will be biochemistry, anatomy, human physiology, microbiology and molecular biology. So all these subjects are of MBBS and so for us the classes used to take place in the medical college and uh, yeah, so this will be pretty interesting and it will also have practicals and one thing in case of anatomy. Uh, the practicals which we used to have, uh, we dealt with the dead bodies. So I don't know about what other colleges are offering. But in case of my college, we had this. And yes, dissection will be the part of biotechnology right from the first semester practicals. Moving on to the fourth semester. Fourth semester will have genetics, biomedical engineering, molecular biology, plant biology and plant biotechnology microbial biotechnology, microbiological technology and plant biotechnology. So the subjects will increase uh, during the fourth semester and there will also be practicals for all these subjects. And one thing that I would like to say here is that biomedical engineering is an engineering subject. So for us, the classes used to take place in the engineering college that is MIT, Manipal Institute of Technology. Moving on to the fifth semester. Fifth semester will have subjects like computers and bioinformatics, immunology, molecular biology, cell biology and pharmacology. So here again, pharmacology is a subject of MBBS. Here there will be uh, studies of medicine like what are different classes of medicine, what are the usage, side effects and everything. So in this particular subject, you will have to learn a lot. Rest the subjects are only rest the subjects are only five in this particular semester. Apart from all these subjects, there will also be a project uh, in this particular semester, and that will guide you how to read a research paper and how to write one. So, in the fifth semester, apart from your regular lecture classes, you'll have to work for that project. In my case, I was uh, assigned a project related to cancer. And for that, I had to read all the research papers. I had to learn to write synopsis and then a thesis. And towards the end of the semester, apart from the regular exams, uh, we all had to present the topic which we, ha we were assigned. And apart from the presentation, there was thesis writing and we were marked accordingly. And last semester is the project semester. For the entire six months, you will be assigned a project, a laboratory, 
a guide you will also be assigned a research project you will be part of that research project and under the guidance of your guide you will have to um, like um, undertake that project for me it was diabetic foot ulcer for the entire six months i worked uh, on that and i obtained the results and towards the end of the six uh, towards the end of the six months um you know i wrote a synopsis a thesis and i presented the entire results and the entire marking was done on the basis of all these three things synopsis presentation as well as thesis so this formulates the entire bsc in biotechnology and i told you about the subjects that you will get to study in all the three semesters so i think you might be having some clarity like what all you have to study now you can easily decide whether you have interest in this particular stream or not so now after knowing all this you will be in a better position to make a choice and uh, make a wise decision in case you find any difficulty in opting a good biotechnology college you can take help of my video which says seven important points which you should take in an account while choosing a biotechnology college and yes uh, this particular course bsc in biotechnology is very interesting and you have to have a lot of understanding you have to develop a lot of skills um during the course of practicals because this will formulate the foundation for your msc msc is again a two year program and it has specialization like medical biotech msc in medical biotechnology msc in bioinformatics msc in genetics msc in molecular biotechnology msc in plant biotechnology and um, after completing your msc if you wish to enter the corporate world you can apply and um, you know as per the eligibility criteria if you complete if you compete and if you compete in the interview if you know all the proper skill sets which the corp like companies are looking for then um, yeah you will easily get a job in the sector of biotechnology and if you are a person who wants to study further and go on for phd and post doc then you can even do that and uh, for phd after msc you have to uh appear for an exam which is known as UGC net if you want to you know pursue your phd from a government organization and uh, there is another option that you can pursue your phd from a private organization for that also there will be some entrance exam as per the university interviews and everything and uh, in case of government organization uh, people receive a good amount of stipend and all so yeah that is the process after that and then you enter into lecturership and all and yeah so i think i have given you a lot of details about biotechnology in case you guys have any further doubt please feel free to post that in the comment section and i'll come up with an answer so this is it for today's video and i'll see you in my next video till then stay tuned keep watching keep smiling bye bye take care